I sound good with a bitch voice cause I'm blessed I look like I'm 10 but I'm 14 So I ran up the roof like fucking Mr. Clean Before Smoke Perp would make his pledge for the 2017 XXL freshman list I'm very versatile, you know, I could do, I could sing, I could rap, you know, I could songwrite, all that before Smoke Perp got a shout out from Little Yachty via Twitter, have one of his songs played by Kevin Gates via Instagram, and we get to hang out with Gucci Mane in real life. Smoke Perp would perform at South by Southwest, the No Jumper Tour, and Rolling Loud. Growing up in Miami and having little interest in working up the ladder to get some kind of normal gig, Smoke Perp originally tried to make it as a producer under the Twitter moniker 808, but found little success. Things changed around for him drastically when he decided to start rapping over his own beats. Now with his new Twitter handle, Smoke Perp. And that's with two P's. Where did he come up with the idea for this name? Well, there's a few different reasons. My favorite rapper was Chief Keith. So, you know, Smoke Perp, Chief Keith. He was my favorite rapper at the moment. They just call me that because I only smoke Perp. <laughs> Growing up best pals with Lil Pump, the two exploded onto the scene in 2016, and Smoke Perp went from a senior in high school to a touring rapper making his dreams come true, not enough to pick up a regular ass boring job just to get paid. What's going on guys, my name is Mike McCrudden, documenting the life and career of Smoke Perp prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now just last week we did a video on Lil Pump, and you guys seemed to enjoy it, so be sure to let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. Smoke Perp, aka Little Water, was born on May 15th, 1997, in Chicago, Illinois. We actually have an exclusive in this video. Little Perp shared with me his birth name. It's Omar Pinheiro. I found that out by asking him via Twitter, which is a much more polite way to find things out. As for Little Pump, well, we learned his name after some punk stole his backpack. So I got that little nigga passport. Oh, you got a nigga. passport? I think I got his that passport. Is, but, ain't this you, punk? What's, what's the government name? <laughs> yeah, uh, Gazzy Garcia. Gazzy Garcia. What the fuck? Hey, <laughs> and let's hope that doesn't happen again, because the dude in that video really gives me the creeps. His mother is of Hispanic descent, and his dad, although born in America, well, he's of mixed ethnicity. His family relocated from Chicago to South Florida, Dade County, when he was three or four. It's a nice place, but it's not the nicest place, you know. Just like everywhere, you got the hoods and you got you got gang banking, violence and stuff like that. Now we really have no idea why they chose to make the sudden move, but perhaps it had something to do with this theft he pulled off when he was just two years old. I'm kidding, it's a joke. When speaking with Smoke Perp via Twitter, he told me, I like being a mystery, I don't even know who I am myself yet, I'm just exploring the world and finding myself. He really started getting into music listening to Chief Keef and feels like Keef paved the path for other ambitious artists looking to make a name for themselves on their own. He also cites in various interviews other artists including Lil Wayne during his middle school years and he's a big fan of Gucci Mane and especially Young Thug. It's a language. There's nothing stupid or fruity going on. The very first rap song he remembers listening to was 50 Cent and Lloyd Banks's On Fire. He was always in trouble at school getting suspended for fighting and other bad behavior. He took an interest in skateboarding but it was music that really piqued his interests. Initially he had no plans of ever becoming a rapper and set his sights on working behind the scenes as a producer. He got to work on FL Studio using YouTube tutorials to figure it all out. He had no microphone and started recording songs on headphones. Problem was, his beats weren't bringing him the attention he was looking for. No one liked them. I, um, I started off producing, but nobody really wanted to use my beats because they sucked ass. So I just used them my beat. I used them myself. There was one other interest Smoke Perp had picked up around this time, an interest in drugs. He started smoking weed in the eighth grade and popped Xanax for the first time at 16. He also got detained for Xanax possession the same year after being pulled over without a license. I, no, I was just gonna say, damn, I'm Xan the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> he dabbled with drinking alcohol a couple of times, but never took a liking to it. Although, if you do cruise through his Instagram account, he has no problem with lean. A friend named Little Ominous introduced Smoke Perp to another Miami native three years his junior. That man, well, you know him as Little Pump. Pump could smoke a lot of weed for a kid his age and his weight class. On top of that, he had an inclination for getting into trouble. He was notorious for having started a school riot where someone was stabbed. 
And you can find out more about that in his Before They Were Famous video. He yeah. started a riot. They closed the whole school yeah. down. There was, heli oh, there was helicopters and shit in school and niggas getting stabbed and shit. Together, the two hit it off smoking weed and getting into a bit of trouble. Smoke Perp was enrolled at North Gardens where there were pat downs and security checkpoints. This place is known as an opportunity school, which is a really fancy name for where they send the bad kids. He had dabbled with selling weed, but it wasn't exactly his strong suit. But I never really like sold weed. I just robbed niggas for weed. Yeah. There were some benefits to his schooling. He learned to play the piano a little bit. Then he learned to engineer music, write music, and produce. There was even a TV production class which taught him how to film and edit videos. He was a popular kid, but he was tired of waking up and going to classes he didn't care for. So he continued to focus more and more on his music. And well, he was focused on a future that would pay the bills and then some, becoming a big star. I dropped out like last year and now I'm a rapper, you feel me? I, I was a producer first. I sucked at producing, so I started rapping. By now, Smoke Perp had been rhyming over his own beats as a means to move his music, and he was hanging out with Little Pump, so we encouraged him to do the same. Smoke Perp also had a Vine account around this time, and he would clock in a regular 1,000 views per post. His first song on SoundCloud was an instrumental, which has since been deleted. The first song to take off for him was Samsung Jumpin', and he followed it up with Ski Mask, Work Hard, Six Rings, and No Smoke, all receiving millions of streams on SoundCloud. Simultaneously, his work with Little Pump well, it had begun gaining traction, and together the two boys became local legends. Since signed with Alamo Records, he's been touring all over the nation, and he dropped his mixtape Dead Star just recently. Be sure to check it out. As for the rest of the story, well, that's it for now because this is Before They Were Famous. My name is Michael McCrudden, we make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. We do a lot of rappers, we do a lot of R&B, we do athletes, and we used to do porn stars. Perhaps we'll try bringing them back. You guys gotta let me know who's next in the comments down below. See you guys in another video.